we're, we're discussing about being in the present. And uh, so when you, you see, one of the things I like about what you were mentioning is that if they can get over that and they're passionate too, if they feel it, right? That is once again, something else you carry into other aspects of your life. Things aren't always going to be great. You're not going to get like the promotion you wanted or you're not going to get the A plus that you were looking for. Or you may not get into the schools that you want. But, you know, when you have have experienced failure, especially something you're passionate about, like when it comes to track and, and your athletes that you train, they'll be better ready for any of those other moments that can come. And then you build up resiliency and then you're able to overcome those and possibly you do even better. It's just that idea that, well, I have to work hard towards this. I have to have patience. And I know that things may not always work for me, but I'm going to find solutions. Just like you mentioned, oh, you didn't like you didn't do too well now. OK, we're going to practice your starts more or something like that. Right. Things like that. So yeah. I, I, you ever, well, how do you feel about that? Do you feel like that's something that sentiment is kind of true? Yeah, I mean, re building resilience is so important. Um, you know, like you're obviously very young. <laughs> you know but um well you seem really young <laughs> but through life you know we we kind of grow up having this vision of how, how life is going to turn out and often life is not even close to to what you envisioned um so having resilience helps you in those moments and there are many um to be able to you know get hit with that <laughs> that curveball and then, you know, dealing with the curveball and then all of a sudden, like coming out of this dark place that you're at and growing from it. Now, certain people never learn the lesson from those moments. And, and you know, that's always unfortunate. I always like to look at, like, what can I do better? How can I grow from this and improve? Like, that's my whole goal in life is just be a better human being, improve all the time and having that resilience to deal with those things that come up. Cause I mean, you just never know when, you know, the ceiling's going to drop. <laughs> it's just life could change at any moment. And I mean, that's another, you know, like you said, you know, I, we spoke about living in the present moment and I, I wasn't always like that at all. Um, so when you're constantly living in the past, you're, you're filled with guilt and regret um, and shame you know, and then when you're living in the future, you're filled with fear and anxiety. Um, but when you're in the present moment, there's like none of that, right? Because you're, you're at peace with what is happening in the present moment. And it, it's like taking everything in that's happening at that moment. Now, you should always have one foot firmly planted in the present. And then you can have your other foot kind of like go back to what happened in this and you can learn from it or a little bit in the, in the future, you know, making plans and so on, but living in those two avenues, like not the present moment is just a bunch of suffering for no reason. And I have some kids with anxiety and they want to stop, you know, whatever they're, they're so afraid that they don't want to even want to race. So I bring them back to, okay, let's breathe. Right. And I'm like, where are we right now? We're on the track. Okay. Do you hear the, the birds singing? Can you feel the sun? Can you feel the breeze? You know, like it just calms them down, gets them back to where they are. And I said, you know, like whatever thoughts are going on, let's bring them back to right now in this moment. And typically it works in getting them calm and then they can do whatever they want. You know, they can race again and they're feeling good. Um, it's, it's a learning lesson. It's not something that comes easy. <laughs> He's living in the present moment. <laughs> <laughs> he's hungry <laughs> you know always just wants to play that's that's the thing Nothing wrong with that. you, know, you know i was gonna say uh he, i never really thought about the dichotomy of okay we can think we have one foot in the future and we're worried there's a lot of anxiety involved and then when we have one foot in the back and we're thinking about the past it's a lot of shame and guilt you know I don't know if you shared this experience, but there's times where I'll cringe thinking about some moment, uh, like like something. You know what I mean? It just it's like a physical little sensation of oh, yeah. I can't believe I did that. And yeah. it's like, why? That happened so long ago. Who cares? But it's so difficult to let go of that, you know. And that's why it's great, like especially for you helping the uh, the our youth, and even even older people be able to think about just that 
present. You know what? I think if you want to hear more stories, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. To support more youth by youth led projects, visit us at youthspeak.ca where you can donate and spread youth mental health awareness. Youth Speak Performance Charity. Speak, inspire, change.